I, I, I think, no, I know that, that we have to uh, sow some new seeds and, and we really have to shape our own destiny as visual communicators. Um, in the past, generally, it was institutions that sort of um, developed the path where the profession was going. Now a lot of these institutions are either no longer in existence or are in a situation of economic downturn. I think this is an opportunity for photographers and creative thinkers to create a new paradigm uh, and, and to have more control of what we're going to produce, what kind of journalism we're going to produce in the future. Okay, so the grant is from the Ethics and Excellence in Journalism Foundation, uh, and it provided support for us to bring in the members of the Iris Photo Collective to work with. I think we will end up having worked with uh, more than 20 high school and college photojournalists, especially interested, and I think the photo, the Iris Photo Collective, you know, their mission is to, I think, address you know, to support journalism that addresses social justice issues. And so that I think a lot of the workshops address those issues and trying to get students interested in, uh, you know, issues, you know, related to poverty, to racism, to substance abuse. To the same frame, to like that. different space. Frame it? Unless there was a big giant. Um, I would leave, the, I leave the frame of the... This space doesn't do anything. The frame will run and jump it off. So. You see, when you do things see the right, between those two frames quick. and there's one right behind you. Right, you can even pick it up. But we found stories um, for them to do in the fall. Um, we came together, gave them the stories, we gave them equipment, gave them a quick primer on how to use the equipment. Um, got everybody up early, got them out to the stories, shot the stories, came back, edited the stories, and then we got the stories up. Uh, on our website, then put those projects up on our website. And the whole point of the workshop is to introduce those that may not have the opportunity um, or may not be aware of a life in photojournalism to the beauty and the power of telling stories and pictures. So the photojournalism workshop that we're doing this weekend, um, we're working with some top-notch photojournalists from all over the country really and um, you know, learning better techniques and photography techniques and actual getting some uh, journalistic experience, that kind of stuff. Um, took some high school students from all over Mississippi and a couple of college students. And I'm the only student here at Southern. Um, but uh, going around and doing a few stories around town and kind of getting our feet wet in the, in the world of photojournalism. Went to the, the coffee shop that was my assignment yesterday at, at Java Works Coffee. Um, I was over there for like an hour by myself and I just took a couple of pictures. And then Carl came over and he was like, he really had me working. It was like, like picture here, then he like move, then he like get down and a vertical shot. And it was like, just back to back, it was like, keep going. And it was like constant snaps. It wasn't like, not like a snap, then move, it was like, a two snap go down, one snap move, and you know, it was sort of like this, it was like a pattern I kind of caught on to. Picture was just a picture to me, and then after we have been through all the stuff we've been through, a picture is more diverse, and it's like a lot of things you have to think about before you even decide to take a picture. When I used to take a picture, I, I would just, you know, just just take a picture. But now, I'm watching the light, and look, checking my exposure, and my eyes so, like if there's gonna be a shadow somewhere or you know frame it, is this gonna be in the picture or do I not want this in the picture? Stuff like that. And it is about the intimacy, and I'm feeling this because of the intimacy. Number one, the compression and the placement of the coffee cup, and the, the coffee cup tells us that this is not our house because it's a disposable cup. They're up in, and they're up in. In or out? In for now. In or out? Yeah. In. In or out? That we, that's, that's not her. her. That's, that's not her. her. That's all. No ownership. In or out? Out. In or out? That's not her. Uh, 
uh, these kids were great. These kids were great. And what was really good, I think, was pushing them outside of their comfort zone. You know, part of being a photographer, part of being a photojournalist is being able to go into different communities, different cultures, deal with all types of different people. And as people, as human beings, we tend to kind of stick together with those that are like us. And the beautiful thing about this particular profession is that it really gives us an opportunity to get into other people's lives, to learn about people, and to deal with people as human beings, even though they, there may be great differences between how we see the world, you know? And so, in order for us to do that as photographers, we need to become comfortable with ourselves. And it starts here. It starts, it starts at, at the base. This is the farm. And, and, and this program allowed myself and, and my partners to really plant the seed. Now, you know, it's like anything else about maintenance. You know?